Hello YouTube world, this is Ryan from Escotech and I'm back with another video upgrading a pre-built desktop. This time I've got a Lenovo Idea Center 720 that I'm going to upgrade. And this is the first pre-built upgrade I've done with a Ryzen CPU. Stick around and check out the details. Alright, first I'm going to do a quick rundown of the parts that I chose for this upgrade. First off, I've gone with a Corsair Vengeance Low Profile 16 gigs of DDR4 to 8 gig sticks that I got second hand for $40. Next I've got a 1 terabyte Samsung 870 EVO, uh, the SATA version because this computer does not have an M.2 slot. I've got two 92mm Noctua Redux fans for about 20 bucks. And the last and most important part of the upgrade is a PNY NVIDIA GTX 1650. I did make a last minute change because I found the spec sheet and realized that a Ryzen 7 1700 was the fastest CPU officially supported by this system. And I also looked out and noticed that I have the 400 watt uh, 80 plus platinum power supply. I did go ahead and pick up an AMD Ryzen 7 1700 used. I sold the 1400 for $32 and bought this one for $50, so a difference of $18 on the 1700 upgrade. I did want to verify that the CPU upgrade was worth it, so I went ahead and ran a quick Cinebench R20 with the old version that scored 1,541 points, and the new Ryzen 7 1700 CPU scored 3180. So right about what you would expect, doubling the cores and threads to the 8-core 16-thread Ryzen 7 1700. I paid $97 for the Lenovo Idea Center 720-ASU desktop tower, bringing our system total to $329.99. I am not going to narrate the video or do any music while I show the upgrade, but I will pop up some captions at key points in the video. If you want to see the final product and my concluding thoughts on this upgrade, fast forward to about the 20 minute mark of the video.
All right, so now that we have a successful post, let's take a look at the quick performance. I did install Windows 10 and got all drivers updated and ran first the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark, which got us a very respectable 56 FPS. And I do want to point out that the GPU bound value was 99%, which basically means that the GPU is the limiting performance factor in the system and the CPU has plenty of overhead left. A run of 3 Mark's Time Spy shows the same thing. The system performs well, but the GTX 1650 probably isn't the best match for the Ryzen 7 1700 as the CPU score is over 3,000 points higher than the GPU score. I didn't get any footage of the thermals, but they were good. The CPU was only about 64 degrees and the GPU topped out about 73 degrees. Alright, so a quick conclusion. This system is a pretty good value at about $330, but I do think I could use a more powerful GPU. The GTX 1650 is a little weak for this CPU. I happen to have an AMD RX 6650 XT laying around, which is a much more powerful GPU, and I am going to go ahead and test it out in the system and see how it does. If you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and subscribe and watch for the next video. I will link that video here when it's done. Thanks for watching, and I hope to have that video up soon.